What's up guys? Today is uh, Thursday, uh, May 13th. And yesterday, the Doge father, <laughs> Elon Musk, announced on Twitter that Tesla would no longer be taking Bitcoin as payment to buy a Tesla uh, vehicle due to its high energy use to mine transactions of the coin. The announcement also stated that Tesla will not be selling any of its Bitcoin and they had and I quote, they intend to use it for transa transactions as soon as mining transactions to be more sustainable energy. Uh, they were looking at other cryptos that use less than 1% of the energy that Bitcoin uses. Earlier today, um, and that was yesterday, earlier today, Musk tweeted um, a Bitcoin energy usage chart from the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index, CBECI. Say that 10 times fast. Uh, showing the energy usage over the past few months have skyrocketed for uh, Bitcoin, essentially. So when he posted this today or tweeted this out, people started uh, to educate Elon Musk on Bitcoin's energy use, making suggestions of making suggestions of what cryptocurrency Tesla should be using. Uh, even Binance tweeted at him, and a few other crypto projects tweeted at him too. Say, hey, look at us, look at us, look at us. Um, I came across an article on Bitcoin.com questioning the CBECI and suggesting that over 70% of the Bitcoin or sorry, 70% of the power to mine Bitcoin is from renewable renewable energy. Not to say it uses a lot of energy, it does. Uh, but this is just highlighting that this energy is renewable. It comes from, you know, wind power, solar power, etc. Uh, this article also say that Bitcoin uses less energy than traditional financial institutions. So you compare the total energy amount uh, used to do the mining of Bitcoin, tr mine the transactions of Bitcoin to you know banks, etc. Um, it's still less than that. Uh, I'll drop will drop a link down below to the article so you guys can look at it. Uh, and you know it's, it's very interesting if you you know want to do more research. Um, after the Elon's uh, tweet went out yesterday, pretty much every cryptocurrency dropped in value. It just plummeted. Um, in fact, yesterday while I was doing my YouTube uh, videos. Um, I would say I want to check my phone um, or, you know, markets and uh, I was doing my video thing, edit, uploading, uh, went out to dinner. I know I hey, you know, I'm losing some, uh, you know, crypto is going down right now. Portfolio is going down. So did more research and found out this, this is what happened uh, or triggered it, I should say. Um, the overall cryptocurrency market is down just over 10%. All right. Now, 10% may not seem a lot. You can see how the total market cap is. I mean, it's billions of dollars that have got wiped out of the market. Billions. You know, you have over, you know, two trillion dollars worth of a cryptocurrency and 10% of that. Yeah, do the math. <laughs> it's like, you know, over 200 billion dollars or something like that. It's insane. Um, there is one cryptocurrency, however, that did surge during this uh, crash. And that is Cordana. Uh, cash symbol ADA, which I've heard about. Uh, I don't own, unfortunately. Uh, I'm looking to buy, but uh, we'll see. Uh, it's now the fourth largest in terms of market cap of cryptocurrency, overtaking XRP spot. It's leading XRP spot by $1 billion. All right, so not too far from behind. Obviously, that can change overnight or actually within minutes. Um, Cardano is up a little over 8% in the last 24 hours. Time of this video is currently at 186, a dollar and 86 cents. So very affordable if you're looking to purchase some. It's an all-time high, or sorry, it's all-time high was earlier today, which went to reach a dollar 93. Uh, I believe a year ago it was like one cent or something like that. Um, so why did Cardano surge during the market crash and everything else? You know, dropped. Well, you could probably guess it's one of the most energy-efficient coins on the market today. Um, I believe, God, what did I see? The CEO of it, when he talked about last year, said it uses like one trillionth percentage of, of Bitcoin's energy. or It was something crazy like that. I didn't read up on it, so I'm not sure, you know, where it's at. But I did find a list of some other uh, cryptocurrencies that are energy efficient, and they were all down. Uh, XRP, like I mentioned. Um, XLM, which is Stellar, which I own. Nano, uh, which is another... Um, smaller all these things are, are pretty affordable to purchase uh and trx or tron um this is a dip in the market and it's pretty much a good time to buy 
Um, currently, Bitcoin is at forty-seven thousand two hundred ninety-three dollars. All right, now uh, just yesterday was at what fifty-four, fifty-five thousand dollars. So, uh, and you know, people were speculating should it reach sixty k. And may I, I'll probably do another video about Bitcoin reaching sixty k if I think it will. And Ethereum is obviously below uh, four thousand dollars. Uh, I still think those are both good entry points. Uh, like I said, I'll do another more detailed video about Bitcoin and Ethereum. But uh, if you're looking to buy crypto, and like I said, it's a dip, so now is a good time to buy because um, you're getting a discount essentially. Uh, a few links down below where you get free crypto. And I've heard certain reason why I list different uh, affiliate links down there is because uh, people are having trouble on one, ass, on one um, exchange. So they try another one and it works, uh, whether it's verification purposes or um, just uh, the app or sites moving too slow because of the volume and et cetera. Uh, but don't buy any crypto, <laughs> excuse me, don't buy any crypto on Robinhood. Um, you don't really own necessarily the crypto in there. Um, if you have questions on that, drop them down below. I'm happy to answer those. Uh, if you're looking to invest in traditional, uh, investments like stocks, a few links down below, you get free stocks. Obviously, all this stuff free, you get certain criteria needs to be met. Usually, it's like a hundred bucks you have to trade, something like that. Um, if you're new to the channel, bring you content like this every single week. Appreciate you guys hit the subscribe button. And for all the new subscribers and current subscribers, I appreciate the support. Uh, definitely hit the uh, like button if you um, found this content useful. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.